Salutations, my Fallout lovers. It is Maddie here today with a super exciting and unexpected Fallout 4 news update. Today, we are talking about Fallout New Orleans. And before anything, take this information with a grain of salt. It is highly plausible information, but nonetheless, we want to avoid that similar heartbreak we had time and time again with Fallout 4. So I'm begging you to please take this information as much as you want to, to believe it with a grain of salt. Because much like with Fallout 4, a lot of you may remember the believable Shadow of Boston hoax that happened and then the game ended up being set in Boston. So with these types of trademarks that involve the location of the game, you definitely have to take them with a grain of salt because they can be accurate but not the actual thing. Also a special shout out to my boy Lone. Cody up! He literally hooked me up with all the information. I did some additional research on my own but he made the law and legal part of this job a lot easier for me because the man works in that field himself. So this was a very helpful thing for Lone to do to me. So link to his channel will be in the description. Mission complete! Anyway the original source where this all began was on PressStart.com. They submitted an article saying Fallout New Orleans trademark registered and it starts off with an article saying Fallout New Orleans has been trademarked on the European Intellectual Property Office or EIPO which we'll be seeing a lot of today which could suggest that Bethesda and more specifically Obsidian could be working on a follow-up to the widely successful Fallout 4. Whilst this isn't a confirmation it is incredibly likely that Bethesda will create a follow-up to Fallout 4 as they did with Fallout 3 in New Vegas which had a two-year gap in release and they followed up with a picture of the trademark but we're going to be looking at a more detailed version first. But before that, yes, this is entirely possible. People have been begging for a Fallout game by Obsidian before Fallout 4 even came out. People were like, let Obsidian make another game. And after Fallout 4 had a mixed reception, lots of people were like, okay, now you have to make a Obsidian Fallout game. And it certainly doesn't help the case for this trademark when we have a interview with Obsidian saying, yeah, we'd like to make a Fallout game in either Florida or New Orleans. So when we see this trademark that seems plausible lined up with quotes from an article from an interview years ago after the success of Fallout 4, it's just the stars are aligning. On top of that, from a simple business perspective, it does make sense to make a follow-up Fallout game. Bethesda Game Studios is clearly intent on making something brand new in an IP, but there was so much money made with Fallout 4, 750 million in three days. For them to walk away from the Fallout license just wouldn't make sense to me. If they had a follow-up from another company, that would be a way to really cash in, make some good money for the company, and satisfy fans so they didn't have that crazy long wait yet again. That's my tangent on the Thing. Let's look at the information now because this is where things get a little exciting. So for starters, the Fallout New Orleans trademark is a figurative type. Now, what exactly is a figurative type? All this information that I'm getting is coming from the EU IPO website itself, so do know that this is credible information. And a figurative type of trademark is for a figurative mark, aka a graphic. So here's a picture describing that. A figurative mark is represented using pictures, graphics, or images. And then figurative mark with letters, which is more than likely what this is, is a figurative mark containing letters combined with the use of pictures, graphics, or images with words or letters letters and as you can see in this follow-up picture these are just some examples of what exactly a figurative mark is and figurative mark with letters are. So what this likely is is the protection of the Fallout New Orleans logo. After that we have the nice or nice classification for the trademark itself and I'm just going to say nice because that's what looks natural to me but I could be incorrect I do apologize for that I am not in the legal field. Nonetheless though this information is still coming from that same website that I told you guys about and in this screenshot it describes what a nice classification is. The nice classification is a system of classifying goods and services for the European Union trademark applications. It consists of 45 classes. The NICE classification assigns goods to classes 1 to 34 and services to classes 35 to 45. Each class is represented by a class heading which gives general information about the type of goods and services covered. For example, the class 25 heading reads clothing, footwear, headgear, and the class 15 heading musical instrument. Now that does give the information on one of the trademarks here, but let's look at them each one by one. So a general synopsis of each of these classifications is that non is recorded content computer software and video game software. Obviously, this would classify Fallout New Orleans as video game software. Then class 16 is art pictures, art prints, advertising posters, cartoon prints, checkbook cases, blueprints, computer manuals, computer game instruction manuals, collectible cards, makes sense under the computer game instruction manuals, art pictures, which could possibly be concept art, could be the box art, advertising posters, makes sense, cartoon prints, maybe you could argue would be the vault boy, 
classification 25 we also went in on briefly clothing footwear headgear you just have to take one glance at the bethesda store they just showed a trailer for nuka world and there's already new clothes for that so if fallout new orleans is real obviously they will be following that up with clothing for the hardcore gamers who want to buy into that hype train like we did with fallout 4 and then classification 41 is education entertainment and sports obviously video games are a form of entertainment so that would slot right under 41 so so far so good right everything is slotting in perfectly it makes complete sense going a little bit more in depth we're going to look at an extended definition of classification 9 just so we know exactly why this is right up our route because it said video game software what exactly is video game software well for classification 9 there's a lot of things that could pertain to but the one that we're going to obviously focus on is the recording disc compact discs dvds and other digital recording media which is the most important part because that would be the game disc itself like i said though video game software that's just a safe bet going in depth on classification 16 we have paper cardboard and goods made from these materials materials like I said box art basically and the rest didn't have as extended in-depth descriptions on what exactly those classifications could pertain to so essentially what they are is just 25 is clothing and then 41 is entertainment and it's as simple as that and the status of this trademark is application under examination now we're going to look at the application under examination process so there is a whole crazy long process on how these trademarks get submitted and approved and loan really goes in depth on it but for me as a fallout fan and for you guys who just want to know how can we tell if this is legit or not there is an opposition period and that is where Zenimax has to step in because there's a fee you have to pay for a trademark to be submitted if during that opposition period ladies and gentlemen Zenimax Bethesda nobody steps in and cancels this trademark you could argue that this is essentially an unofficial confirmation of fallout New Orleans like it said on the official trademark, this is currently in the examination period. Once the opposition period hits, if Zenimax steps in and closes the door on this thing, gets rid of it, it's gone, then that means it was fake. If it's still there and it gets approved and the trademark is registered, that means, ladies and gentlemen, this is most likely real, which is incredibly exciting. We've been through a lot of these trademark hoaxes in the past, but what's exciting about this is we know what's going to happen and how exactly it could possibly be real. So we'll have our answer either way at the end of this. And naturally, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Now, some of you may be thinking back to last May where the same thing happened with Bethesda Game Studios and Fallout 4, where they were submitting a trademark for some CGI trailer and it was on someone's LinkedIn profile. And from there, things just got worse and worse and worse as companies went into damage control mode and the thing just erupted on itself and essentially unofficially confirmed Fallout 4. What's funny though is that Pete Hines went to the effort of afterwards saying that all of that was 100% fake. So if we see comments from Bethesda, I'm not saying don't believe them, they will most likely step out and tell us this is not real, do not believe anything unless it's from an official source, but we know as fans that when we see these processes, what exactly can happen, what can prove it's real, what can prove it's fake. And that's not to say Pete Hines was a liar during that interview, I'm just saying that there was some clear-cut information suggesting Fallout 4 was real, and since it was revealed a month later, Later, that was super exciting in its own right so I'm wondering if the same thing's gonna happen here where they're gonna go ahead and try to debunk things so I wouldn't be too surprised if that happened and funny enough companies are already commenting on this rumor and one of those companies ladies and gentlemen is Obsidian Entertainment the presumably developer of Fallout New Orleans and they posted a picture on Twitter just saying very doubtful that one hurts indeed, does it not? But still, we must keep believing until we see that trademark get shut down. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to lead false hope anywhere. Like I said in the beginning of the video, take it with a grain of salt. But now companies are starting to comment on this. But we won't really know the official yes or no until we see that trademark close down. Especially with all the noise it's making in the games industry. People want an Obsidian Fallout game. And if Bethesda didn't know beforehand, now they know now and can actually submit a real trademark. My general interpretation of this is that it does seem like a lot of effort to go to to make something fake but the internet has shown it's more than capable of doing something along those lines so time will tell but nonetheless i'm hoping it's real i would love an obsidian fallout game and i'm surprised at myself because i thought you know i've had enough fallout but then when i heard rumor of a new obsidian fallout game i got that same sense of excitement that same spark i was like holy crap man really let's go a new fallout game and so it just shows that it's still there just it might be time to move on from fallout 4 after nuka world and so i'm super pumped about this i hope things pan out properly obviously i will be keeping you guys updated on both my social media as well as my channel about what exactly is going to happen with this trademark i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something about the trademarking process a big thanks once again to loan <laughs> but that'll wrap up 
out this incredibly long video, this long Fallout 4 news update. I haven't had one of these in a while. These trademark videos, man, they are exciting. And one of these days, one of them is going to be real. As always, all my sources will be linked in the description down below. If you want to check my information, if you want to do some additional research yourself, get involved in the conversation in the comments down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are down in the description. So when you're doing that extra research, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook as well. Check out triggerbomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans, for Bethesda fans. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.